been over a year since I last made a video showcasing my favorite free and open source apps. So naturally, I thought it was about time to make a new one. So with that being said, here are 15 of my favorite free and open source applications for 2024. All right, kicking off the list today, we have System UI Tuner. And this is an incredible free and open source application that unlocks a bunch of system level mods for your phone. So for example, you can use the app to hide pretty much any icon in your phone's status bar. You can also use it to disable the system safe audio warning or to customize various UI system sounds. You can even set custom device lock timeout durations or change which radios should be disabled when toggling your system airplane mode. Plus, there's a huge amount of tweaks on top of those as well. Just keep in mind that the app does need ADB permissions to be granted for it to work, but it's incredibly powerful regardless. Then we have James DSP, which is a nifty application that can seriously improve the audio quality from your phone. There are a stack of settings to play around with and it can be a bit complex to get your head around what some of them do, but with the right settings applied, you can essentially make any phone speakers sound exactly how you want them to. The app does also require ADB permissions to be granted, so keep that in mind, but it's worth checking out if you're looking for that slight bump in audio quality for your phone. Following that, we have a beautifully designed GPS and geographical information application called Positional. So if you're in any scenario where you need to find out detailed information about your current location or really any location, then this is the app for you. Whether you want the latitude and longitude coordinates of a location or you need a compass or you wanna set waypoints for a trail that you're embarking on, seriously, anything related to location information, it's probably available within this app. And then as mentioned, it's also got a seriously brilliant design to go with. And whilst there is a paid version of the app that you can get, pretty much all of the core features are available with the free version. So I still think it's well and truly worthy of a spot on this list. Okay, if you're a big user of Telegram, which by the way is also open source itself, and you're keen to try your hand at creating some unique themes to make the app look your own, then you should definitely try out the also open source app, Telegram Themer. There's a whole selection of settings and customizations that you can make, but once done, you tap on create, then share the theme to a conversation in Telegram. Then you can just tap on that theme, hit apply, and there you go. Then we have a super simple app called Save On Device. With the app installed, anytime you then share anything from anywhere on your phone, you'll get this new option in your system share sheet to manually save that file to your device. This means you don't have to worry about your downloads folder becoming a complete mess of unorganized files. Now you can choose where to save each and every file exactly, which is amazing. After that is Play App, which is a really handy tool that lets you manage your phone through a web browser. With everything set up, you'll then be able to use a web browser to view all of your phone storage files, which you can then open and save to your computer as needed. There's this option to write notes, which are obviously synced between the different devices. And there's even an option to mirror your phone screen. It's also secure and completely ad-free. And another app in a similar vein is this one called Octi. But instead of managing and viewing your phone's files through a web browser, Octi actually lets you sync and view information about other Android devices. You just go through the setup process on whichever device you want synced. And once complete, you can then monitor information about each device from any phone with the app installed and set up. So this includes battery levels, operating temperatures, network connection information, even entire app lists. So it's definitely really powerful. All right, halfway down the list, we have a beautifully designed expense and budget tracker application called Cashew. This app packs in just about all the features you'd want in a budget tracker app, all of which will help you to stay on top of your spending in a secure way. Plus, it's also packed the brim with customizations as well. But then, as mentioned, the design and the animations throughout the entire interface are seriously gorgeous to look at. Highly recommend. After that is Hail, another open source app that actually lets you hide system apps from your phone. All you need to do is grant the app permissions using whichever method you like. And from there, you just select any apps on this list, including system apps if you enable them. Then back on this homepage, you just tap the freeze icon and there you go. Those applications will be completely hidden from your phone's home screen and app drawer. To restore them, you just come back into Hail and tap on whichever app you wanna restore and there you go. 
Following that is Noto. And I know a lot of people are always on the lookout for new note-taking app recommendations, but for those looking specifically for an open source variant, then this one is worth looking into. It's a very clean and minimal note-taking app and you can format notes as much as you like. You can also sort them into different categories to keep things organized. Plus, there's also a reading mode. You can set reminders for notes and you can even add folders of notes to this vault, which will lock them behind a passcode or biometrics. Dual Wallpaper is one of my favorite apps on this list and as the name indicates, it basically lets you set different wallpapers depending on your phone's system theme. It also has some extra bits of functionality to go with, but the key selling point is that it works flawlessly with Android 14, which is why it's now become my go-to app for this purpose. Then there's Smart Spacer, and if you're using a Google Pixel phone, well then, this is an app you'll definitely want to try out. It essentially takes Google's at-a-glance widget and makes it way, way more functional. From adding unread counters to digital well-being stats to even tasker plugins, this app is seriously powerful and what's amazing is that it does not require root access, only permissions to be granted via ADB. Then we have a much simpler yet still impressively useful application called Notification Dictionary. Once the app is installed, anytime you're reading some sort of text and you see a word that you want to know the meaning of, you just select it, tap the little three dot icon here, then tap on meaning. You'll then instantly get a temporary notification with the definition of that word, which is really handy. All right, second to last today is Audio Share, another simple app that allows you to share any audio from a computer to your phone. You simply install Audio Share on both your phone and on your computer and follow the steps to set it up. And from there on out, anything you play on your computer will get streamed through your phone speaker. This is super handy if you're playing a video podcast on your computer, for example, but you then want the flexibility to move around your house as you keep listening to it. So it's absolutely worth trying out. And so finally today we have Obtainium. And given that many of the apps featured on today's list are out of date on the Google Play Store or potentially not even available on the Play Store altogether, Obtainium is a super simple way to keep them all updated. All you need to do is copy the URL of where an app is located from. So let's say this GitHub URL, then open Obtainium, tap on add app, then paste the URL here and tap on add. And just like that, it'll be added to this list where you can track its updates manually or even be notified whenever an update is released. But that's it, 15 of the very best free and open source applications available in 2024. If you yourself have any other recommendations for free and open source apps that you love using, definitely let everyone know down in the comments below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.